Uh, I've got to work on that. <laughs> you try to go for the delightful fade in, fade out thing. <laughs> you end up with literally just a hard stop. Uh, good morning, everyone. Well, we tried. I wasn't anticipating it to immediately kill the song like that. It does make me laugh. I don't know if I'm feeling the webcam today. We'll see. Right now I'm not. Hey, Forrest. Good to see you, buddy. I was trying to go for an elegant, nice intro into the the from the the intro music into the gameplay, but we're we're still learning here. Progress is being made. Uh. I kind of sold myself early. I said my character's level 92. It's definitely not. It's level 91. Uh, where do we start today? Uh, yeah, I might have unlocked on uh, Empowered last night in a late night sprint. Um, they're rough. They're kicking my butt. We're having to, we're struggling a little bit here. Feeling strong, but not strong enough yet. This is where the uh, the rubber meets the road. Um, we're lacking a lot of uh, in-game resistance here. Lightning is not good. Necrotic is not good. Void is not good. We don't have very much of any of our defenses. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a struggle right now, um, staying alive. So, what's our play? Well, we could finish up some um, low corruption, uh, non empowered, and focus more on getting the endurance that I think would help out with staying alive. Or we could go back into the empowered. So you can already see I've died here once. So, it's kind of hit or miss if I make it through the level. Um. How about we do a non-empowered just to warm up and get used to moving my fingers again? Just I haven't played. Yeah, okay, sure. 121 corruption. Should I kill the boss on the side of the timeline with one gaze or, or two to th three gazes before resetting back up? I couldn't tell you. You're actually ahead of me now. I don't know. I, I uh... As far as I know, you spend one gaze. You only spend one gaze when you um, kill the shade, and that increases your. I mean, unless unless I uh, unless I misunderstand, I, th that's new to me. Also, we might have to start adjusting the loop filter. We're really starting to get a rain of drops happening. Um, which is making things a little bit more difficult at the end of each run, because there's no reason to be sitting here sorting through all this loot. I guess it depends on your survivability. Have you fought the shade yet? Their forest? Have you? Do you feel confident against a a, a, uh, a hundred corruption shade? Hey, Sleaze, how you doing, dude? Good to see you. Just got done watching the F1 race. It was, uh, it was fine. 
Bahrain is kind of a boring race. Uh, so last night, I had, I tried to go to sleep at a reasonable hour, and instead I didn't. I don't know, man. If, if, if I died against them and I lost that, I find that I would be discouraged for us. So if it was me, I'd probably just you do the one gaze and see how it is and then just gradually step it up. Because, I mean, you know, you get caught out with too high a corruption, you start dying all the time, you might end up, you know, regretting it. Uh, you're already getting such a huge amount of a drop increase. Last night I finished up, so uh, let's see, I'll, I'll, I'll fill you all in. Get, let's just finish this Echo real quick, and I'll, I'll fill you in with what I happened. Cause I'm already coming back to feeling like I'm okay right now. I just hadn't played in a couple hours, and I wanted to get the, the muscle memory warmed up here before I jumped into Empowered's. Because I really have to take... I'm, I'm just, I get crushed very quickly. I think the lack of resistances and then the low health total is what's uh, tripping me up so much. But I'll, I'll explain better when I, I'm not immediately in risk of death. Okay, cool. Grab all that crap. All right, um, yeah, let's just get out of here. Okay. So, lovely. All right, so last night, what happened? All right, I finished off um, the last ruin. I got the uh, the blessing I was seeking. Um, I finished off the ending of the storm. I got the blessing I was seeking. I did the fall of the empire. I got the blessing I was seeking. Um, I didn't get the spirits of fire change, and I didn't get age of winter. That unlocked unpowereds for me. Um, I grabbed up uh, all the um, un ad adorn that I want. Not any of them are correct, though every single one of the small idols is BIS for me. Uh, I ran uh, arenas up to tier 4 arenas. I did uh, Blast Arbor. I did that up to tier 4. I did... Um, Temporal Sanctum up to tier 4. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm just, um, forced. I'm just struggling with getting crushed. I'll show you when I get into an Empowered. I, I mean, hopefully I don't die. That's, the goal is not to die, but we could, we could certainly see how that's been working out. Um, it's just, this character just gets popped so easily, if I'm not careful. So this is the big difference. <laughs> I have to go so much slower. Hmm. I had a bunch of prophecies to kill the um, the arena boss, the the red blade. I'm also, if I'm not, um, see, I just get popped so easily. And I'm running low on mana. Um, so I had a, I had a, to get the arena boss, uh, down, the red blade, and he has dodge mechanics. And, uh, I died against him a couple of times while I was leveling. And so last night I fought against him, and I had a bunch of prophecies to kill him, and I killed him. And there was this massive loot explosion, and three of my best in slot idols dropped, and I was standing in a void spawn, and as I went to go grab them, I died after he was dead, and I got none of the loot from it. <laughs> and I really wished I was streaming to see you guys to see how mad I was. Because for like the next hour, I was just sitting there grumbling about how I just could have clicked one of these things, but I didn't. Anyway, uh, we're trying to save up more favor again. Oh, I did hit 
tier 7 on the uh, Circle Fortune, so we're getting more of the um, T7 affixes. If I hear a little boop as I'm switching my mouse back to wired, wireless, rather. Um, I need to save up favor, and I need to be working on trying to get more adorned prophecies. But the Dagum adorned prophecy, uh, adorned idols, all take place in like the tier four dungeons, and they're not, they're not easy. <laughs> I mean, they're all, they're not easy. Anyway, my problem right now is just getting up my defenses and. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm, my loot filter is actually a little too tightly tied to exactly what I'm looking for. But I, I, I just don't really feel like going through and figuring out what it, I need to change right this second. And like, I have to be extremely careful now. I have to avoid... A, things hitting me because I can't take the hit. Like I'm <laughs> burning through a lot of potions all of a sudden. I, I have it. It's built into my skills. I'm just spamming my skills a lot more than I was before. Let's get out of here before I die to all these fire spawns. Uh, so I have it on, let's see, mana regen. I'm trying to remember which ones it was. Falconry generates mana. So if I kill an enemy, it restores mana. Um, aerial assault. Uh, if I... Let's see, which one is in an Aerial Assault? Yeah. Using Aerial Assault recovers mana. Yeah, you're, you're much more specced um, for defense than I am right now. We're getting there. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Um, I do have this passive that's changing all of my... Uh, oh. Yes. All of my block chance has been changed into Glancing Blow percentage. So, 7% uh, added to my Glancing Blow. One moment, guys. Yeah. Yeah, see, it says I only have a 5% chance to get a Grancing Blow. I just don't have any defense just yet. But, I mean... Um... That's got the right a uh, affixes, but it's not the ideal piece of kit. Right affixes, but it's just a rare. Right affixes, but just a rare. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, and that's wrong. And every single one of my adorns is wrong. So, like... I kind of am in, like, this this doldrum zone of, like, starting to get what I need, but not quite having it just yet. Yeah. So. It, it's just gonna take... It's gonna take a little bit of gear dropping. It's making me wish that I uh, chose um, the Merchant's Guild over COF, because I mean, I've got this enormous amount of um, of gear. Like, I've got a huge number of, of uniques, and LP uniques, and none of them are benefiting me. <laughs> like, it, they just don't do me any good. Uh, it would have been nice to have spent my money on um, buying gear that I wanted, but 
you know, the goal here is to, if I keep playing, uh, Circle of Fortune will end up netting me something better. Yeah. Well, congratulations, man. Live it up. You're in a much better position than I am right now. All right. This is an idle reward, so we are hoping and praying that we don't die. Shred armor and elemental damage. Seven. Rank seven. Yep, I've heard that. I've heard that. I've heard that the Merchant's Guild is extremely hard to level up in. That favor drops, uh, uh, favor gains are not as simple to acquire as they are in Circle of Fortune. Yeah, I'm just having to be a lot more careful. I don't can't run through levels willy-nilly anymore. Sometimes I can, but I don't want to die on stream just yet. It's too early in the day for me to start getting mad at myself. Alright, let's see. Yep, nothing there. I guess we can start looking at the Adorned and see if possibly there's a chance to find something that's slightly better than what we're working with. So what are we working with? Double damage with Falcon Strikes and Armor Shred. Um, piercing. So we got the Critical Strike Multiplier and Poison Resistance. Critical Strike Multiplier and bleed, a chance on Bleed on Bow Hits. So that does the second one doesn't do me anything. And I don't think this counts as a bow attack. I guess it does count as a bow attack. To be honest, Circle of Fortune seems more fun. Merchant Guild needs some changes for sure. Setting separate tiers for FXs. Maybe a search bar where you can type in the item name instead of a list from item to pick. Was it you who I was talking with? Or was it someone else who was saying that they found a search function deeper in the menus... Yes. For the Merchant's Guild that'll let you search for a specific item. I don't remember. Take care. Perhaps that perhaps there is a, a way to find a certain item. I. It's hard for me to speak from experience. It was you. Okay. Yeah, I just don't have um, any experience with it yet. I do want to try it. I, uh, I don't know why that's there. Uh, I just haven't. I just have not yet. And a serpent's milk. I think I have one of these already. It is a 1 LP Serpent's Milk. That would be frustrating. If you're in the trade window, you can't open your inventory or check your item or rolls. Yeah, that would be very frustrating. I, I... Circle of Fortune is really fun with the prophecies. I, I will be honest with you. These are really cool. 
when you pop pro several prophecies on a single uh, enemy and they all explode into this massive loot explosion. It's really neat. Uh, but part of me also wishes I could just buy the gear I need to fit the, hole the holes in my build, and I can't do that. <laughs> I have to find it. I have to build a very good loot filter and just hope and kind of move myself in the right direction for um, finding the right gear to fit the right, like, like I said, the right holes in my build. But we keep on progressing. This one? Yeah, Woven Flesh is really good because of the um, Critical Strike Avoidance. It really just is a, a very, very nice, easy thing to put on. It doesn't give you any benefit to your build and implicits or in your power or anything. It is just purely a defensive web, uh, item that gives you 100% Critical Strike Avoidance. The same with Death Rattle. It doesn't do as much. It just makes your minions increase the Critical Strike chance and damage they have. These two items really are just crutches that you use until you get um, yes. exactly what you want. So my, my uh, I don't know if we talked about this. This build, um, Critical Strike Multiplier for my minion scales with my points of Critical Strike Avoidance. So it behooves me to have higher than a 100% uh, critical Strike Avoidance. So even though 216% doesn't make any sense, you only need it to get to 100% for full defense. But because my car my pet hits harder with it higher, it actually is one of my scaling ways into the end game to get particularly stronger. Take care. Alright. Yes? Take care. Yeah. Very cool. How am I misunderstanding it? I don't, I don't think I agree with you. Uncap resistance is the total amount of resistance you have against a specific damage type. So this would be against criticals. Ignoring the cap of 75%. Uncap resistance can be useful in mitigating the effects of blah 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 blah. But it doesn't help. So th this doesn't... Meaning the uncapped means that once I hit 100% I no longer can get crit. But the numbers past that still are additive to the effect of the ability. Right. That's what it would mean to me. I'm not saying you're dumb. I just know that the cap is the maximum effect that the ability can provide. But the uncapped version is just a re raw reading of the number. So for instance, my critical strike multiplier for my pet is two per, uh, uh, plus three percent per three percent of my critical strike avoidance I get two percent so I have two hundred fifteen percent 
and I'm getting eight, uh, let's see, every three, so 215 divided by three. No. Is it divided by three? It is. So 71 times two. So that's 143% critical strike multiplier for my pet. And I'm at well over 500% on my critical strike multiplier for my pet. And if I add up all these, it's not going to be anywhere near that value. So that's the way I read it. Please do. Let me know. Wasn't it supposed to spawn scorpions? Huh. Nothing happened. See if I can't run through the level a little bit. didn't exactly net ourselves an enormous amount of experience here, but again, if I just slow my pace by about mm, 10 to 15 percent of my clear rate that I had before, I feel a lot more confident walking around. And I just have to be mindful of the stuff on the ground and the stuff flying around in the air. I've, I've seen um, several builds that use uncapped values to do uh, in-game scaling. Yeah. I've, there's several builds that are really popular right now that have uh, defensive values that give you offensive values due to the way the skills read on uncapped. And oh, that hurts so bad. And um, I just I've been using the the that information to build my basis off of my understanding of it. Come on, baby, don't you die on me, girl. I will be honest. So I had, um, oh, god dang it. Hateful son of a bitch. Ugh. And that was the one that was dropping idols, wasn't it? No, that wasn't. That was just a, um. Well, I guess I got it cleared. That's bizarre.
Huh. It counted that as a completion. I even got a reward. I just clicked on the reward. <laughs> okay. I guess if there's no harm, no foul if you end up getting the success even if you die, right? Alright, um... Okay, let's 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 collect ourselves because I'm already frustrated because I'm dying. What's the goal? The goal of today is to start replacing pieces of gear. I want to start the rings, and the helm, and I also want to look into the, the the amulet. So that's jewelry and a helm. And then we'll eventually work into getting rid of the uh, chess piece and relic. Also, I want to get all my idols in the right direction. So there's a lot of things we want to do. What's the best way to do that? The best way to do that is to gain favor and to start dropping prophecies. Now, I've already done a bunch of the prophecies, but they're all too difficult for me to get accomplished easily. Uh, not all of them. That's doable. That's 100% doable. I've already done it twice. Very doable. Very doable. Very doable. Probably not going to happen. Well, I mean, it is any dungeon tier 4. So we could just go anywhere. I've already tried arena tier 4. That's too tough right now. And that can happen anywhere. That's doable. That's doable. That's not going to happen yet. Easily capable of being done. Any dungeon tier 3, I can just bang that out ASAP. I don't know those boots. Let me look at the database real quick. Mercurial Morning Frost. Okay, let me try Morning Frost. Base item Morning Frost. Freeze rate, movement speed. Minus one physical and cold resist per point of dex. Plus one cold damage to attacks that use per point of dex. Um, so I lose resistance to cold to gain more damage with cold. More or less? Mm hmm. So this build in particular is built around. Um, a lot of fire damage? I don't really have a basis for cold on any part of the build. It wasn't something on my radar. Forest. Um, the boots I was looking for... Or just a set of exalteds. Just uh, vanguard boots. Movement speed and increased effect of haste on me. Um, that works on Falconer. Nope, it's not. It's aerial assault. When I get more points in. Um, Aerial Assault. Uh, aerial Assault now grants me Haste and Frenzy, and I get more effect from Haste and Frenzy. And I have to remember, I think that's in my passive tree. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yes. So I get more Haste effect and duration. And then the skill, Aerial Assault, which I'm using all the time, gives me, uh, whenever I do a, uh, after using Aerial Assault, critical strikes dealt by you or your Falcon grant you Aerial Prowess up to a maximum. 
and then haste duration per stack, and I get 20. I can get up to 24 stacks with high crit, which will get me an extra 2.4 seconds of haste, and then I get 20% effect. Uh, uh, I get 20% on top of that effect, and then another five seconds. So I get 7.5 seconds of haste per cast of the ability and then I can use aerial assault on a cooldown of three and a half seconds so I should have permanent haste up. So I feel pretty confident with my movement speed. Um, and I just think Vanguard boots would be perfect for it. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I, I think I, I'm pretty sure I'm. I think Vanguard boots would be my my best in slot. A really good drop of um, of an exalted set of Vanguard boots. Um, I guess there's a consideration for trying to get high LP. Oh, don't you die! I'll have to look. You're gonna get me killed, dude! <laughs> um, yeah. I see it there. But Vanguard Boots give the highest movement speed for Exalted Boots, I think. I think in the game No, they yeah, well I mean uh I'll be hoping for a drop of um what do I have on right now? These are, see these aren't fully create correct. I would I've got strength on there for some reason. And I would be trying to get dex and movement speed as my two prefixes. And critical strike avoidance and haste. Actually, these boots are all wrong. <laughs> I just realized how bad these boots are for me. They don't actually do anything. Yeah, I see it. I saw it too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the and also, uh, what was it? It's for raw ability points. Fuck. Attribute. Um, maybe it's under the passive tree. I'm trying to remember it off the top of my head but there's one that there's a skill that gives for the grand total of, of, of just raw attributes it's not any of these off the top of my head I'd have to look I'm getting uh... yeah I know I'm well aware <laughs> My build is not optimized right now. Hmm? 
I feel confident that I will get the things I need in the next five to six levels. But I, I, I still need to get the things I need. And I'm not there yet. I promise it'll all come together. You'll be very impressed when you see everything come together. It's just not there yet. I'm at like 20%. My stats when I'm done with this build, I should be at 78% fire resist, 78% cold resist, 110 lightning resist, 75% physical resist, 85% necrotic resist, 75% poison resist, 90% void resist, with a 22% dodge chance. Uh, I should have... Let's see my critical chance... Where is it? Other. My pet's critical chance should be um, 71% and with a 700% 700 uh, critical modifier. And then my critical chance Should be right around 125%. So I, I should be 100% good to go. But I have to get there. It's just, just give me long enough to get there. I promise you it'll be worth it in the end. And... If the question is, why would you go above 100% critical chance, the Falcon gains a percentage of my critical modifier in its critical chance. Gotta get there. And we will. I have every intention. But the question for everyone uh, does become... I, I, I'm interested at the end of the month of March, perhaps, picking up a copy of Dragon's Dogma and streaming some of that. So if everyone wants me to continue to play uh, Last Epoch, I'd be happy to do so. I'm, I'm not done with this game yet, but... Dragon's Dogma goes way back with me. I've played that I played the first game I played the first game a lot.
we just keep on rolling. Um. Forty percent item rarity, twelve percent. Yeah, we'll do the forty percent. Tables have turned from the beginning of this when I felt so overpowered. And now I'm really wishing that I had picked one build and stuck with it because I could have been building gear for it the entire time. Rather than swapping things out at like level 70. I was on, um,. On max roll? Come on, don't die on me. And looking at uh, some of their Falcon rebuilds that are really good in arenas. And the, their number one highest rated one is a Ballista based build. That sounds like it's my kind of jam. I guess if you I guess if you're doing arenas and the enemies are running towards you, having the ability to set up kind of a field of ballistae would be fun. I don't know if I really feel like swapping out the build now. I, I, I feel like I have a lot of confidence in what this one can do when I get the right gear. So I think rather than always be thinking that the grass is greener, I just stick with this. physical resist. Oh, this is Spy Master. Please don't kill me. He's got a lot of poison. Eyes of I. I like this build. Do enjoy it. Might have to drop something. Oh, Six thousand favor. Uh, yes. I've found that getting to about twelve to fourteen thousand favor is really what you need before you start um, going back to the pickup prophecies. I believe if I drop this, it'll pop up as a best in slot. Yeah. Take care. 
I don't need it because I already have them, but I'll throw it in the pile. Yes. Oh, that's an all resist. Let's see if we can't pull that off. Alright, it didn't. That's just the state of my luck these days. Hmm. Why did I grab that? I guess, uh. I've got myself set up to pick up um, affixes that affect the class skills because they're so rare. And what are we looking for on our next stash tab? I know we've got to buy some. I need two-handed weapons. And then I need one for helmets and belts, two-handed weapons, and body armor. Oh, now what does our next stash tab cost? Two hundred twenty thousand. Yes. Take well, care. eventually we'll stop having to buy them. I've, I've I've almost got the the full set of the LP1 uniques um, built. And we'll see if I need to get LP2 uniques fully fleshed out. What was I doing? I was dropping off the key. Okay. Can I not get out of here? Thank you. Okay. Let's hope for no death. our modifier enrage I can deal with enrage it's watchers so that's fine it's not void spawns so that are gonna instantly kill me Hey, Force, what level are you up to? If you don't mind me asking. Well, congrats on getting your, um... Going into Empowered's even before level 90. That's, that's great. I mean, I had to wait until... I was... Uh, level 89 before I felt confident going into an empowered at all. Definitely keeps the heart rate up. Empowered's were... Or, not empowered. Before I was going into Empowered's, I was starting to fall asleep while running, uh, Monos. But they definitely have stepped up how much I'm having to work. take a peek at our uh, loot filter here and start cleaning up the ones we're looking at. Uh, congratulations! So 
sorry, getting distracted by trying to stay alive. Hard to maintain conversation. Um, you have to clean up the loot filter so that I've got less uh, exalteds. Just because it's it's so many. They, they fall like rain. Just keep hoping. Two LP. Let's drop all this crap off. Um, let's see, that's a two LP aberrant call. And a one LP body armor. Hybrid health. And we'll sell all the rest of these here in a second. No reason to waste time on it. How are we looking on our circle of fortune? Just 6,800. Um, sure, this has got a pretty high amount of uh, XP and quality of loot. 156% item rarity and 144% extra XP. This is a void spawn map. And these wisps have blown me up in one shots before. So we're going to have to be very careful. No, you just don't get any, um, you just don't get any reward for finishing the monolith. The, your reward disappears. gain bonus are calculated by number of echoes completed and if you die your echo is not completed please okay good I think that's another undisputed isn't it yeah it's a, such a cool sounding name for a weapon i'd love to make a build that works with it Melee damage, melee attack, damage leeched his health, physical damage for each melee hit against the bleeding enemy. So you'd be focused on a bleed build with twin axes, which sounds like fun. It just sounds like fun. I don't think they're actually that good of items, now that I'm looking at them. Was that boots? And a Xerix boots. Yes. Take care. How are we on shatters? We're at over 150. Why don't we... Do we want to grab the unique item? Actually, we're really hunting down idols, aren't we? That's our main point.
I think that's only the second Tongue of the Aberrant I've ever picked up. And the beta, I was grabbing up those like crazy. Exalted. Alright, we have a plan for fixing the Exalted rain. It's formulated in my head as I've been walking around. Whoa, that hurt a lot more than I thought it would. Go away! Dude, he's dead. Why is your spell still going? Thank you. Okay. Alright, so we go into our... Hey, hello. Hello! Might have to drop something. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Can we get rid of the Vitality? That's the key. If we can drop the Vitality, then these boots are worth keeping. One and three. We didn't get it. Throw them away. Okay. Fixing the amount of Exalteds I'm grabbing. Okay, now we only pick up all Exalteds that are Tier 7 or higher. That will affect these, won't it? I don't want it to do that. want these to supersede that. I guess this needs to be down here on the bottom. Rules on the list overrule those lower than them. Yeah. Okay. That's what we want. Because we want to show all our items but we don't want to show all the exalted items that are lower than this. That's fine. We got it figured out. That should work. Uh, yeah, let's throw our aberrant on there. Yes. Quickly go to the store and see what I need to sell. Sell that. And that. And that. Uh, I will grab the mana. I have 34 of them. Eh, that's a few more in our... The sell, and sell, and sell. I shattered this. We can sell it. We missed a roll on that. The 
sell it. I think that's... Yeah, we're good on that. We can sell... We can definitely sell you, and we can definitely sell you, and all the rest of them yes. we can sell. Cool. Take care. Okay, back to it. Let's get idols. Idols, 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 idols. Give me the idols. I want the idols. 7,000 favor. I want a level, I want the idols. So yeah, that'll be a tier 7, right? Why did it show up? That doesn't make any sense. That's... Do we do an opposite? Do we go hide? And then we look for things we don't care about? So do we care about all attributes? No. We care about intelligence and we care about decks. So everything else? Okay, we can we can do that. That's probably easier. Spell damage, cast speed, spell critical strike, spell damage. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's for an alt. It's not for me. I don't I don't particularly care about um, spell damage, but I do want to get the shards for my alt. Uh... Why not? Damage type. I definitely don't I definitely do want poison and poison pen physical pen physical fire cold and lightning we don't need void really care about elemental damage over time. Minion pen, fire pen, get rid of the rest of them. Poison pen. General, critical strike, ch damage over time, stun chance, let's see. Critical strike chance and multiplier. We do like the stun chance. We do like the area skills. Defensive stuff. We want all the health. Um, sure. Uh, we don't care about armor. Let's make sure I've got this right. Hide all that, yeah, hide all that are checked. Now we're good there. 
dump it there. Yes. Me specifically, because sometimes I need a change of pace from playing a um, a uh, squawky bird boy. And I definitely wanted to see what a I, my first build that I wanted to play when this game went live uh, with 1.0 was to um, play a mage. And uh, instead I picked the bird because people were more interested in birds. Recovery. Uh, I don't really need any other ones. Wards. Um, I don't really need those. Stuns. Critical strike. Leech. That's fine. Parry. I don't need parry. Movement. I do want movement. Cooldown. Uh, I'm sure. Reflect. Yeah. Mana. Minion. Definitely want minion damage. Don't care about minion dodge. Don't care about minion health. Don't care about minion regen. Don't care about damage over time. Minion damage and bow damage is fine. Spell and bow damage is fine. Melee and spell damage is fine. I don't think I use spells. I don't think any of the abilities I use count as spells. Maybe they do. Do they count as a spell? No. Damage over time, minion melee and bow, minion spell and bow. They're not using any spells, they're just attacks. Ailments. I want to keep bleed. Poison. Fire. Don't care. Shock. Do care. Slow, definitely. Freeze rate, keep. Shred armor, 100%. That I don't care about. That I don't care about. And that I do. Alright, we're closing off all Acolyte. None of the Mage. All Primalist. All Sentinel. None of the Rogue. And the rest are Idols. Experimentals. Uh, which ones do we like? We like Haste, Frenzy, Ward Gain on Traversal, Minion Transported, don't care. Ward on Kill, that's fine. Dodge Rating and Endurance, is fine. Ward Missing Health, is fine. Armor Applies, don't care. Ward on Potion, Mana on Potion, Traversal Cooldown, it's a Volatile Zombie. Okay, and then I don't think any of the perks these work. Uh, we'll just leave them unlocked. Okay, so now we're blocking 100, 247, and they have to be show. No, we're going to go hide that are less than 7. Yeah. And then the ones that are checked are the ones we don't want. Good. Alright, that was a bit of a long... Thing, but I think that'll clean up my drop rate. And it should just show... Uh, 
and kill these guys. And this should be a tier 7, right? Tier 6. Why the hell is it showing me that still? What the? You're still alive? It must have had, it must have had something that was, that I wanted. Poison resistance. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to focus on it. I'd rather just keep playing. Yeah, we got an XP on kill. Let's... Yeah, it's hiding a lot more now. More XP on kill. Come on, come on, come on. Let's hit level 92, please, so the stream title is accurate. before I die, head to the chest. Mm, it's not quite enough for a level, but it's close. Close. I do want to check the chest. Definitely want to check the chest. Nothing for it, but at least we got it open. And a whole bunch more idols that don't do anything for me. Any of the Majassans bleed. Bleed and poison resist. Yeah, cute. None of them are what I want. The magma cabins. Oh, I guess it... Does this... You've done Empowereds, so if I do the the second tier of the quest, it gives me the opportunity to get the blessing, right? I don't have to go to the sh gaze of uh, the shade of Aborus to get the blessing, right? This is the blessing opportunity, correct? Aborus? Okay. Are you hunting for blessings, or are you happy with all the blessings you have? I guess we can just find out. We will find out if this is... Oh, this isn't it. This is the... Easy. Too easy. Yeah, there... 
This was kind of pointless. I, I kind of want to just leave. I don't need to do that. Okay. Because that doesn't net me anything. So you only get the blessing opportunity at the third point, the third one. in favor. Alright. Kind of want to hunt down beacons. There's one there and the one there. Let's grab the unique item. I'm hunting down the uh, Endurance and Armor Shred currently are the two that I'm missing. All the other ones are just normal blessings. So it'll be nice to get them improved, but they just go from being not empowered to being empowered. spin that point real quick. Maybe I won't. Goodness. You really can't just sit and do anything in these, um... You just kind of have to get it completed and then you can think about it afterwards. Yeah. It's a decent Weaver's Will. Especially for mages. Sure. I'll show you right now. What are those colors? What's the purple around it mean? I don't actually know what... Yeah, it is. Because look, I have a perfect Critical Strike Multiplier roll. That's exactly what it means. See, there's not a perfect one. And there's a perfect one. Alright, so the blessings from start to... from the bottom to the top. I'm doing increased adorned idle drop rate, increased body armor drop rate, critical strike multiplier, bow drop rate, mana, prefect shard drop rate, critical strike avoidance, class specific shard drop rate, and these are the two that are incorrect. This one will be um, armor shred effect, and this one will be endurance. But they're not, they're currently set on armor. So those are the two that are incorrect. Everything else is correct, they're just not empowered. It is for my build. So I have Rending Talons, portion of your chance to bleed and slow now applies to your Falcon's hits. So my Falcon has a 100% chance to drop 
armor shred on every strike. And... Let's see, under dive bomb, is there anything? No. We looked at that already, I believe. Yeah. It really just interacts with the Falcon in that way. And I think it also... I have armor shred stacks from standing in the cloud of smoke. So that helps. Yeah. And then under my passives... Slow is also a very powerful stat for this one, strike their flank. So you deal per point of, per slow stack, you do 2% more damage. So armor shred and slow does work with me. And then the last points are gonna go into increasing our health and increasing our attack speed. Actually, um... slow. Seven percent. But I don't think it's actually accounting for um, the pet picks up a, a bunch of my crit chance. trying to remember which one it was, which ability. Yeah, because look, increase min uh, crit, minion crit chance by 36%. And I guess it's only saying that the pet has 5 from here, and then 36 from here. I don't read it. I don't think it's accurate. Let me get out of here, and I'll, um, I'll go to uh, the, the test dummies. Those fireballs are super dramatic, but other than obscuring what's on your screen, they don't seem to hit for very hard. Oh, I've completely broken that skeleton. Uh-oh. He's having a bad day. Oh boy, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Gunner. Fireballs are, other than obscuring what's on your screen, they just don't seem to be that strong. That was on me. I totally saw that happen. Pity. Alright, uh... What was I gonna do? I was gonna go to the, the, um... Yep. I saw it there, and I didn't move out of the way. I will say, the number of times I've died in this game to things that I have 100% saw coming and didn't avoid because I was just hitting a skill cap issue as opposed to just dying and not knowing why I died is very low the the, the I, I most of the time know exactly why I died I don't know if there's any actual difference between any of these training dummies but anyway so when I drop my bird see he crit like six times there He's not critting at 7%. He's getting an enormous number of crits. Like, out of the 7 hits there, he crit 4 times. Out of the 6 hits there, he crit 3 times. I, I'm 100% I'm certain the bird is critting much closer to your actual critical strike chance. Which mine's at 43%. Uh, I mean, he only got one there, but he got two on that one. He got four on that one. He got seven on that one. I mean, it, it's it's way more than seven percent. Hello, traveler. Do not dwell on regrets. Okay, back to the back to the job. Back to the true grind. Sure. Dive Bomb now creates a Shadow Falcon to strike at the location of your shadow, and it will prioritize your shadows nearest the target location. But Shadow Falcons deal less damage, multiplicative with other modifiers, than the real Falcon. I get three, and they do 25% less damage than the normal Dive Bomb. Your Shadow Falcons that land inside of your Smoke Bomb take off again after a short delay before diving again at a nearby enemy to deal damage around them. So I get three that drop a second time. That's six. And I generate shadows in my Smoke Cloud. And then I use my Explosive Trap as a method of um, shredding fire resist. And I also have Armor Shred on hit. So I shred armor on hit with my um, and fire resist with my my uh, arrow shot traps, and then the smoke cloud is building shadows in the meantime, and then those shadows in turn trigger additional dive bombs, six additional dive bombs. So that's what happens. That's what causes it to continue to go. And then I also have cloud gather. If I land my dive bomb inside my smoke bomb, uh, it increases the duration, basically indefinitely. This seems to trigger each time they hit, and the Shadow Falcons do it as well. So if I hit six times, I'm getting 40 times 6%. Six, uh, 40 times 6, yeah. On the additional time on my, my smoke cloud. 
So I, I can drop a smoke cloud, and it'll last however long this lasts. Three, four, four seconds. I can drop a smoke cloud, and then dive bomb it. And it just never goes away. So in turn, I can use that to build more smoke clouds that in turn last forever. <laughs> and meanwhile, if I'm standing in a smoke cloud, I got... Uh, increased melee and throwing damage, and then I get Dust Shroud, which increases my Glance and Blow chance to... Where is it? Well, my dodge went up to 40%, and Glancing Blow is now at 65%. So if I'm not in the Smoke Cloud, my Glancing Blow drops down to 5%, but if I'm in it, it's nearly 60%. So I, I kind of want to. I want. I want to hang out in there. It's not a big smoke cloud, but it does last forever. Look, <laughs> so it is useful in boss fights. I still have to clear this. <laughs> I didn't get it done. That's my trap card for boss fights. Oh, this hateful thing again. Oh, for goodness sake. I am struggling against the void damage right now, man. my void damage, or void protection, and I just need more gear. And it's another beacon. It's quite literally the map hasn't changed at all.
I'm getting some weird artifacting happening on my screen right now. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I can't. I might need to do a uh, restart here in a second. Something's going wrong. Well, I got a glancing blow there. That saved me. I took the hit, but I... Nice. All right, let's get out of this junk. I'm gonna do a uh, quick restart. some very odd uh, things happening on my screen. I wasn't really sure, sure what they were. Um, 9,000. Let's build up another 3k. Why am I doing this? I don't need to run out there. I can just teleport to it. Okay. A lot of beacons. <laughs> Exalted amulets. Yeah, I'd be willing to go out there for exalted amulets. Let's do it. Really monochromatic, isn't it? Holy crap! Is he still alive? No, he's not. Goodness gracious. Nothing spices up a run like getting knocked down to one hit point.
We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Nothing happened, nothing to see here. We don't get any reward because we died, I know. Okay, let's get the let's get the actual necklace here, huh? Let's not die. Yeah, that's the goal. We're trying not to die. I know that sounds like a weird goal. Uh, rune of Ascendance. What are we going to spend the Rune of Ascendance on? Nothing. We're going to spend it on the bow when we get there. crazy? I don't see a how do I get out of here. Like, I don't see a, a, an end goal. What do I need to do to leave? I think I am, actually. I'm stuck here in the sewers. I literally don't have a goal. Um... It's either a UI glitch, and there is a goal, and I just can't see it. Or there's nothing for it, and I'm wasting my time, and I need to reset this and see if I can get a goal. Set it. Try it again. 
see what happens. There we go. Find the Spine Hunter. Uh, at least we know what we need to do here, huh? I think that was just a glitch. Alright, I'll tell you one thing. These Osprex mages... They hit hard even before these dungeons were empowered. I cannot imagine for how hard they hit now. Oh, it's... It's gonna be an ambush. There's not gonna be any Spine Hunter Alpha here. This is 100% an ambush. That it was a hard ambush. Goodness. Ten thousand. Ten thousand favor. I do want to hunt down a plus ten corruption because I have several um Sorry, just thinking. So each How do you get a uh defeat the boss in this quest echo? So oh, I understand. I understand. And the third one pops up here and you can okay. And you don't have to do the optionals. All right. I guess I just don't understand the mechanics of how these dungeons work yet. I was jumping through it, man! Killed by blood puke from a winged carrion. Ew. Oh, man. It'll be really good when, the, when we start to get the pieces that we need to finish the puzzle. I feel weak right now. Uh, 
use of beacon again. Goodness gracious! They did not give you long. is good. Idols is even better. Unique, unique. And a whole bunch of beacons. Hmm. Three uniques in a row. Yeah, alright. Let's go for the cash. Give me the cash. Is that a uh, crit chance? Epic shards. Covenant, huh? Man, these guys, another one of these enemies that hit hard even before they were empowered. Good. Let's grab the chest. Okay. Another Merophage. That's good money. And nothing there. bit of cash in the pocket for buying stash tabs. It's 174k gold. How are we on fortune? 11,800. Okay. 
walking into danger. I saw it, and the moment I saw it, he blew up. You won't make it. I swear my reaction times are actually pretty good. Maybe not what they were when I was 20. I think it's a combination of remembering the mechanics the enemies do at an incredibly rapid pace. It's kind of the rogue way, right? Another group of enemies that are going to hit hard. Lightning boys I'm not scared of. It's these freaking trolls. Ogres, rather. Okay, got him. I know I didn't get anything. That's fine. Ooh, a reroll reward uh, thing. Okay, let's grab the um, idol and head that way. like gold. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of uh, ailments on me. Holy crap. Kill, whatever. Oh, Siege Gall. I needed that for prophecy. I didn't even know there were any here. This did not feel like a Siege Golem uh, uh, type of echo. How many siege golems do I need to kill? Five. And I get seven idols for it. Do I hunt them? No, I don't hunt them. That's just gonna happen as it happens. keyboard. It turned off all its colors. I mean, I don't really care, but... 
That's just bizarre. Okay. Did I press a button? I don't see anything that would make it do that. Oh, that's a screenshot. Ice Beetle. You know, I, I hated that shrine on Unempowered because it just didn't feel impactful. But now the enemies attack it and it pulls a little bit of the focus off of me. And I kind of dig it. The shrine that I liked the most in the early game, the unique shrine that drops a new unique item, is the one I care about the absolute least. Oh, this is a really terrible spot to have a uh, a reef gate, huh? Well, at least we got crit chance. Let's see if we can't make use of it. Oh, it's a soul gate. It's not even a reef gate. Now the enemies have no problem at all walking through around this, but I have to circle around the entire damn thing. I guess you can walk around the edges of it. I just, it's just hard for me to see that you can't. Alright, that was easy enough. Enough complaining. What do you got? Maybe that's good? Okay. Off to the Echo that does the reward refresh. That was taking my life in my own hands there. I just knew they were going to blow up and I jumped into it anyway. See? <laughs> the tip of my toe was pressed into that one and it killed me. What was lucky? Uh -oh. 
Oh, for goodness gracious sake, man. I need to really get some caffeine in my system. This is getting to be ridiculous. Just get the damn thing done. These are my least favorite enemies. They're all nasty. But those um those axe throwing boys are a little bit much. I survived that. Nice. They don't miss. Let's just get out of here. Let's see what the other ones are. All right, what do we what do we change our drops to? Uh, none of them idols. Exalted bows. There's an idol. Where's the exalted bow? Right there. And idols. Three idols. Two idols. Three idols. Okay. Four idols. Boy, blind. Golem down. There's going to be siege golems here. It's good to know. This is an ambush. Easy. Too easy. It's an ambush level for certain. Find ourselves another siege golem, huh? That's at least three I've killed, if not four. This will be a prophecy drop here in a second. It's not that way. You want to think he's down here? Probably not. Okay. Are we on cash? 202. Drop some materials off. There's a siege golem. Yep, we get a drop. Nothing that we wanted, but it's all about maximizing our opportunities. And we did get the ambush. Not 
not happening. Okay, and we didn't die. We got close, though. We definitely give ourselves dying a run for our money. Uh, let's just drop off this gear. How's this Merophage look? That's a better one. Sell this. Vortex Pennant. That's a 2 LP Vortex Pennant. Put it under the 2 LP page. An unspent Weaver's Will for mages. Cool. A 1 LP two-hander. I'm still trying to understand... Like, what do I need... I guess I'll figure out how to get it... Uh, a, I haven't seen a gaze. When you defeat a boss in this quest echo, I wonder if... I don't know. I guess this is the boss? Okay, this does drop gazes. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I understand now. Another rune of sentence. That's two I believe I have right now. That was a lot of fire explosions. Goodness, goodness. stunned all over the place. Another ambush, huh? in favor. And part of me wants to just go ahead and grab up as much favor as I can right now. And we'll just spend it after we get done with this run. My prayer is that I can get the Endurance one, because that'll really, really benefit me right now. That would be the, uh... 
the ideal scenario. I've had just as bad luck with some of the times I've been trying to get it myself. Why does it feel like I'm getting further and further away from the end of this? I guess technically I am getting further and further away from the end of it, huh? One, two, three. And he moved. Alright, at least he died quick. Can you please start heading northward? stability feels like a lot to achieve when you're dropping 40 to 50 per level. It means you're doing 18 echoes or so before you hit the 900 necessary to do the, uh, the boss fight. Stop. I'm trying to hit map. Oh my god. Tab. Oh, you hateful thing, but it's okay. I won. I won. It doesn't matter. I still got it because I killed the boss. Yeah. Three short. That's been the story of today. Oh, an arena. Save that one. And more critical strike chance. We'll just hang out here. Enemies. Hello. Go ahead and refresh our critical strike chance. And we're totally gonna cheat here. We're gonna take our we're gonna get that idol, that shrine right as we finish up this run and carry the 100% critical strike into the boss fight.
Okay. Clear up our inventory. Hit the portal. Grab the shrine. Dip on out. Check the reward. Nothing. Grab, grab, grab. Uh, not worth it. Hit the boss. We should have a 100% crit chance going into the boss fight. <sighs> Die already. That's endurance. It's a mid it's a really low roll, but it is the one we wanted. <sighs> okay. Success. How does that take our endurance up to? 40%. That's pretty good. That's better than it was. Uh, Alright, let's spend some fortune, huh? for idols. Any dungeon tier 3. That's easy enough. Age of Winter, 320 Corruption. Lightless Arbor, any enemy, rare. That's easy enough. We can do that. We'll grab that one. It's only, yeah, it's 8 Adorned. So we'll do a Tier 3 Lightless Arbor just to get an enemy kill, probably. Tier 4, I'm pro... No, there we go. Another death of a rare enemy in Lightless Arbor. Arena Tier 3. This is far easier. Reign of Dragons? 8. Emperor of Corpses. Okay, I can eyeball that one. Uh, death of 6 Giant Scorpions. That's more likely to happen. Three Diamond Matrons. What is happening? 
It's like the loudest intersection in the history of the universe outside. Uh, five siege golems for 12 idle drops. Uh, sure. Death of the Shade of Aborus 1. Sure, we'll spin. We'll get that. We're starting to run out of... Uh... Wow, that's an expensive one. 6,000. Wow, that's a lot. Adorned. Death of the Frost Lich Formosa. Why not? Got enough cash for probably two more. Make that one now. I saw you there. Lightless Arbor 3. Beautiful. Unless this rolls perfect, we're going to be out. Nope. There's no way it's 900. Alright, so we got a whole bunch more. Looks like we're going to be in Lightless Arbor Tier 3, so let's go ahead and just do that. Huge rubber banding. But I suspect this area is incredibly busy. Grab a Lightless Arbor Key. Sell off our gear to Old Girl down here. Don't need. I knew you had something to ask. It would be my pleasure to satisfy your curiosity. That sounded very cheeky. I knew you had something to ask. It would be my pleasure to satisfy your curiosity. we can put on the webcam. Why not? See my frustration then. Oh, uh, right. Is it 
Wait, well win for Lightless Arbor? Yeah. Good to see me. Yeah, I, I just, I didn't, I didn't know. I don't, I didn't feel like webcamming it up this afternoon, but whatever. All right, what are we hunting here? Rare enemies, right? And then amber elementals. Are we gonna spend any cash? We have two hundred thousand. That's not a lot. Lightless Arbor, you should come into with usually between three to six million. Well, that was fast. It's um, currently uh, 1439, so 2 p.m. There is no um, 9 p.m., yeah. There is no... Uh, lighting on in my room. It's purely natural light. When I watched um, the Tour de France, there were some Estonian uh, bicyclists that I remember being pretty good. Um, worried about how dangerous this place is. I think the enemies here are only level 95. I'm doing the same thing there, Forrest. I'm, uh... Maximizing my chair sit-down time, too. father was a uh, like a compulsive athlete like he was always participating in sports and um, spent his entire life being in incredibly good shape uh, until he destroyed his knees and in his old age he just watches um, sports 
non-stop. And so my, my youth was spent watching you know, college football and women's lacrosse, uh, American football, baseball of all types, uh, the Tour de France, F1. Rugby, tennis, golf tournaments. our fifth, right? Nope, well, if it isn't, this is our... Nope, that wasn't our fifth either. I'll get to someplace safe and let's see what my prophecy state. Nine. That's why I haven't gotten enough. And that's in tier four. Well, we'll get this done so that we can unlock Tier 4. And at least the music in here is pretty cool. I've been meaning to ask a couple of the other streamers I watch that, uh, how do they do music through Discord. I guess they could be putting on a Spotify playlist, but I suspect it's music through Discord. I do enjoy the music to this game. But... Putting on something that I want to listen to could put me in a better flow state quicker. That's definitely like seven of those guys. I think I got a few more to kill. Looking forward to seeing another lightless. Come on, boy, show me where you are. Okay. Thanks for showing up. Enjoy your dinner. I hope it's good. What you cooking, if you don't mind me asking? Or you can run off your call.
That's gotta be nine, right? Yeah, that was nine. Alright. Any of these worth anything? No. Mm. Armor Shred's plenty nice. Why did I pick that up? I didn't want that. Alright. Let's go run and see... ...what the boss has on his, uh, progression. Oh, man. I forgot about the... I can't go through that way. I gotta go around. Alright, we got two ways out. Each time you do this dungeon, you get two separate exits. And one will be one bonus, and the other one will be the another bonus. I've seen all kinds of bonuses pop up on these. What do we got? More exalted rings. That's good. Hopefully we won't get buyer's remorse for spending the extra time to run around here and check and see if there's anything better. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Relics. Relics or rings? Relics or rings? Well, um, let's just grab the relics. I would have preferred rings, but I don't really want to run all that way back. It feels like such a waste of time. Gold total is not going to buy us very much. And I would have much rather spent it on stash slots, but... We've gotten our um, prophecy filled. So let's just go ahead and find the exit. Grab the best one and be on our merry way. Because we can always come back here and use it for prophecy gathering. It's so nice when the um, when you swap down out here, you realize how much easier these guys are than dealing with anything in the prophecies. Or the uh, prophecies. Anything in an echo that's all the way empowered. I'm actually terrified of seeing those guys though when uh, they get fully increased damage and health out the wazoo. Because they were terrifying when uh, when I was a low level trying to get through here. Do I need? It? I do need actually to drop you.
Wow, this is all sorts of... This is a weird layout this time. Okay, can't go that way. This is one of the oddest layouts I've ever seen for this, um, this dungeon. How did I drop all the way back down to 69%? Uh. I guess I'm taking more damage than I'm giving myself credit for here. Falcon Leech going on. Find and exit. There's our first one. Unique item. I could give a shit less. Let's find the other one. on our next one. What's this one? Exalted items. Totally into it. Alright, let's clear the boss. Clear the boss! Did anyone else see a void spawn there? Because I know I certainly didn't. Damn it. I know I was just standing there, but man. This has been a new glitch. That if you if you die in a dungeon, you get disconnected. And that's disappointing. All that effort. Uh, we need to kill a rare enemy in a dungeon. Let's grab a couple keys and just see what we got. We got. Just head off to one of the two. See if Soulfire Bastion, if I have a tier 4 dungeon unlock on it. I should? 
I don't remember. I think I've cleared out three. No, I haven't cleared out three. Give me back my key. Alright, let's see about Temporal Sanctum. two on it. Okay. Well, I guess we're going back to doing monos then. Um, let's check and see what we've got cooking here on our prophecies. So Formosa, Shade of Aboros, Siege Golems, Diamond Matrons, Giant Scorpions, Formosa. So Formosa. Oh, no, that that's Frost that's uh Fire Lich Cremoris. That's Soulfire Bastion. Um Arena Champion A Bomb on Fall of Outcasts. Clermancer Riora. Frostlich Formosa. That's 240 corruption though. Emperor Corpses, that's 110 corruption. 110 corruption. Siege Golems. Raya. Black Sun. Alright, so it's either Raya and the Black Sun or we do Frostlich Formosa. Which one of the two do we want? Frostlich Formosa is. Just make sure I'm sure on this. Formosus. And he is in Blood, Frost, and Death. So that's for bow drops. And Black Sun is for Critical Strike Multiplier. Let's do Black Sun. XP, cash, runes. Where do we go? Which way feels right? Let's head south. helicopter flying over so
Well, we didn't spend our gold, which is good, because I can use it to buy stash tabs. My addiction. My love. My deep-sated affair with stash tabs. Giant scorpions! I needed to kill like seven of these guys. That's four. It's not going to happen on this run, but... One step closer, right? Fletch. Uh, okay. Nothing really feisty there. Let's just spread out all four sides and see what happens. All three sides, rather. I'm telling you, ooh, that's a beautiful artwork on that. That was cool, cool looking. There are, um, there is a, a total difference from clearing the, the level 90 area empowered dungeons to what these feel like. This, I mean, I still could get crushed, but these feel wickedly easier than, even though they're all level 100, like, um, the, the Spirits of Fire feels way harder. I guess there still is some sort of scaling. Maybe uh, corruption based, right? It'd be interesting to see what corruption level I start with here. Whether I start at 100, like those ones do up, up there. not going to let me click it? Or have I already clicked it? I guess I have already clicked it. It's just not giving me the circle. And here I am talking about how easy it was going. So what? You could do the the beekeeper's helm, right? And then you could do bloodkeeper's nest. Looks like there's the beginnings of a of a build there. We'll come back to that thought at some point in the future. Uh, yeah, we gotta clear this now. Honestly, don't even know what happened there. I think I got caught by the fire. I think that's got to be it. Well, we've had really bad luck twice in a row, and just poor skill on my part. What is happening? I have capped fire resist. This is the curse of saying that things were going well. I think those bears are hitting harder than I'm 
giving them credit for. And that sometimes that's my lightning resist is terrible. That's what happened. I got hit with multiple effects at the same time. Gotta, this game does a great job of allowing you to feel confident and then smacking you in the face for you getting a little bit too cocky. Did those void spawns hurt? No, they're just... An effect. <sighs> well, we are hunting idols, aren't we? And it does start at 100 corruption. So technically, this should be just as difficult as the Spirits of the Fire, right? Don't stand in the things that kill you. It's pretty simple. So remember that your traversal skill does not provide you immunity. It does damage. While other people's traversal skills provide them immunity, you have to be mindful what you're leaping through. And a Soulfire Bastion key. Alright. Well, the plan today was to stream till 1500 hours. And we are at 15 of 10. Oh, you idiot. You saw it. You saw it there. And I'm, I'm dying all of a sudden. But there are there is loot to be gathered here, especially if I get to the idols and stop dying. <laughs> I did need giant scorpion kills though. What do we got? Anything? Anything worth looking at? Let's um, let's get the idol, the idol uh, echo done, right? Well, let's at least get this echo done. How about we start with that? Uh. 
Which is the more likely way to lead me to where I want to go. Looks like it's this way. There's a fair point to be made that playing on a map that's mostly dark, dropping purple void spawns is a little bit cruel and unusual, right? Got it done. Well, let's try again. One last little drop for idols. Boy bats. Oh, and these these guys. Oh, we're in the thick of it now, aren't we? This ain't messing around. I swear that said Congressman's Code. I know it didn't say Congressman's Code. But it looked like it. I'm reading that correctly, aren't I? The, the goal of this run is to kill the Thunder Dragon? Pardon me, but what the hell is a Thunder Dragon? I assume it's a dragon that shoots thunder, but... Why did no one tell me there was a Thunder Dragon here? Oh, well, it doesn't matter now. Okay. And on that incredible disappointment. <laughs> oh boy. Do we get the level? Maybe we just get the level. Maybe we just get the level and we call it quits. For the day. Fine.
Oh, I do need Siege Golem kills. So, there is that. Let's just get the level. And, uh... Call it a day. Despair. I wonder how many ascendants I have after today. I haven't looked in a while. Definitely still alive. Okay, not anymore. We didn't quite get the level we wanted. Uh, we'll grab this. <clears throat> Might have to drop something. Really, I'm full. Yikes. Uh, XP on kill. The game's reading my mind. Well, I bet these fools hit hard now. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. to hoping for double drops. Nope. And a little bit of gold in the pocket. As a consolation prize, we'll buy a stash tab for two-handed weapons.
clear these out of there. Oh, that's a Weaver's Will belt. I didn't even know that they, I had that. Six, rank seventy two, seventy six, forty eight. Right, Silver Frond. It's a 1 LP Silver Frond. Do I have one? I think I do. But I only have one. So we'll grab the second one. Acid Fletch. Acid Fletch is a 60 item. Drop all our keys off. Sell. Ugh. Hateful thing. Sell. Yes. All right, we go into tomorrow. What has changed today? Not much. Um, unfortunately, we didn't hit one. Uh, hit roll twenties yet on anything, really. Um, we could do the shade of a Boreas and a monolith before I go. Seed golems, I need to kill a few more before those start dropping. Diamond matrons. I can go embarrass myself in the um, arena real quick. Try a tier 4 arena. That's probably a dumb idea. Uh, yeah, we're trying to get to that. Let's see, we could head in and do Spirits of Fire, right? And then do the Shade over here. And that does increase my Corruption to 114. I mean, that's a, that's a nothing run, but it would be something. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? He could kill me. That's it. Hit him. My chains return, but what of yours? <sighs> okay. Do 
we feel like embarrassing ourselves in the arena? I mean, an arena run could be really quick, right? Yeah, extremely quick, because I'll probably die. Maybe we do it? I don't know. This feels like a dumb idea. What shrines do we have? Damage Reflect. Stun Chance. Those things hit so hard. I like the stun chance. Anything else? Stun chance. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and grab the stun chance because we have two. Oh, I didn't react fast enough. What do you want? I see. Screw it, man. Let's do it one more time. That ended way so... That ended so poorly so quickly. One more try. I feel like there's still an opportunity here to, for me to you know, get something out of this. I hate this arena. It's not a good start. Siege Golem, huh? save the ice beetle for the second round of five. Haste shrine. If I make it that far, we will save that for the second round of five. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, I should really clear that off the floor so I don't misclick in the middle of a fight. But... Let's go. Holy... Why is it spawning those stupid starfish void things? I rarely ever fight those. It spawned them two arena runs in a row. Where are you? Are you in the center? You're in the north? Goodness! This is the Siege Golem. I think we cleared. We did one. One wave of ten.
What do we got? Shrine of the Ice Beetle. Shrine of the Frozen Hive. That's lots of distractions. Uh, we might actually be able to get through these waves. Maybe. I'm freaking nervous. Alright. That's a lot of ice beetles. God! No! <laughs> One quarter of a second too fast. We made it further in the uh, tier four arena than I've ever done before. What do you want? Let's see. Okay. Um, let's see. What are our takeaways from today? Stress. Stress is our main takeaway. We desperately need to improve our resistances. We desperately need to improve our boots, our body armor, our amulet. And our health. The loop filter is ready and rocking. We just haven't had our drops fall yet. Um, I've been so focused on getting the adorned idols because that's the hardest part. And they, you know, the thing is, is these have to fall on the exact two that I need. And if they don't, then it, it's not the right item. So you can, you can, um. You do a lot with, uh, you know, with modifying your gear, but your idols have to fall. So, like, it has to be. It can only be an idol, an adorned idol that is increased armor shred and shared critical strike multiplier. So it has to be a pincering of corrosion. So anyway. I'm sorry that we didn't get as much progress as we wanted today. I, I gave you guys an extra 30 minutes on the stream. Um, we did do an empowered off all the way through. We got a Spirits of Fire. It is not the greatest roll. It's... A pretty shit roll. Let's see, where's my character? It is a pretty bad roll. Um, but it is an it is a grand. So that's that's lovely. Uh, I'd like to get this changed out to armor shred. I'd like to get the increased critical strike avoidance. I'd like to get the increased critical strike multiplier <coughs> from Black Sun. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. So, I think um, tomorrow we head back into the monos and we start working our way through Black Sun. And after that we probably head to Edge of Age of Winter and we're going to finally get the correct armor shred. Then we can go on to our, um, critical strike avoidance. And then we can go back into eco. Because the mana is great, it, it, but it doesn't light my fire. It doesn't really, you know, make me go completely ape, ape over it. I do think, um, it wouldn't be dumb of me to work on these three to get, increase my drop rate on adorned idols on body armor so we can replace our body armor and on bows so we can get a legendary because we want an LP version of the Thorns of Valor. We have found a second Thorns of Valor but it's not that it wasn't that good of a drop and we're really hunting for a LP Thorns of Valor. So we've got our chase targets. I look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow. 
Thanks for showing up today. I hope everyone has a good evening. I think it's time to play the outro and for y'all to say to have a good night. I gotta go to work. Take care. Talk to you soon. Partridge out.